What's up YouTube? Today we're going to get on with the rebuild of my forks on my GSX-R1000. So this video will be good for anyone with a K1 up to a K8 I believe. Um, my forks are K5 so we're going to, first we're going to whip them off the bike and then go upstairs to my apartment's balcony and start the disassembly. Alright so follow me Andy. First of all we've got to do some measurements on the bike. Now you've never done forks before right? Man, I've never done forks before. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you my method. So it's I not. Look at them and on them. It's all yeah. Right. Well, it's not really essential for me because we're gonna check what the preload was set to. We're gonna check what the compression was set to, and all that sort of stuff. Okay. But I'm gonna be changing that anyway. But this is only really useful for if you're doing like a customer's bike, mm -hmm. so that the settings are all exactly the same as before and after. So you can kind of skip this part, but as it's your first time, I'm going to teach you my way. All right, let's do it your way. Right, we're live. Hi. So first thing is, I've got my little notebook here, and I'm going to take these measurements. You see that? Mm -hmm. Right, so again, this isn't really important for me because I'm going to be doing all the settings anyway, but it's a good thing to do as a general rule. So my oh, okay. so my preload is set to ten and a half mil or ten point one mil, so let's just call it ten mil, so preload. Ten point one mil. Alright, so compression we need to count the clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay. Nine potatoes. So nine clicks from the right, All from right. fully. So compression nine from right. Okay. So the other thing is triple tree height. Yeah. On the So triple tree height. We're just going to check this gap here mm -hmm. just to make sure that when we fit them back in they're at the same same height so that is 7.4 mil so let's call it seven and a half mil whatever yeah whatever 7.5 mil right stop there okay that's that done so let's start taking this shit apart boy let's do it man let's do it hit that thing yeah hit that thing Is this thing on? This thing's on. Right, so, got the forks off. Look at that. Check out the leaky one, Andy. Look at that gross one. Where's it? Oh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, gooey. What a gooey. Yeah, man. we had a few dramas, mainly that the caliper bolts were tight as fuck. And one of the triple tree bolts was not threaded. First world problems. The, uh, the head was butchered, wasn't it, Andy? Well, don't tell me your problem. You think it was like that before you it's, touched it? It's all your problem. <laughs> like, no, it was like that before I touched it. Okay. Right, so let's go upstairs and uh, strip them down. Fine. Do it then. Go upstairs. Welcome to my workshop. This is my balcony. But because we're posh bars, we've got two balconies. So that one's the wife's balcony, and this one's mine for doing work. Wow. So, what we've got ready is a bucket for the oil. And because Japan is Japan, you can just put oil into a garbage sack and throw it away in the trash like normal. So come, come, come here, come here, cameraman. Come so we've got my forks, the old forks here. We've got the new fork seals, which are genuine Suzuki ones. Yeah. Because I didn't want to buy cheapo ones. Then the dust boots. Um, we've got some Motorex fork oil. So this one is 7.5 weight. Um, these ones take five as 
as the factory goes. But because I'm a big fat bastard, I wanted to, to sort of up it to 7.5. Yeah, Turn it up. Yeah, so we've got the, the seal driving tool. We don't really need this, I reckon. Because they come apart, we can probably just tap them in. Just shoop, straight in. Shoop. And then finally, once we've got the all the oil in and bled, we've got this. To oh, check yeah. It. And this is where the egg. magic happens, right? Yeah, if you haven't got one of these, you're wasting your time. This is where it's all at. Yeah. So I guess then we'll just get the, get the caps off. Get yeah. as much oil out as we can and then we're not going to be able to get the top cap off yet because we haven't got a full compressor tool mm. but I've got an idea, I'm going to A-team it. Uh oh, Trust just got me. an idea. Trust me. Gonna... Last time you had an idea we woke yeah. up in the police station. <laughs> That's not a story for YouTube. Okay. Right, let's get on with the oil. Let's do it. Alright, get on with it then. Okay, I'm waiting. Are you want to film me doing <laughs> Fair enough. So this is 24 mil. We'll do a big one cut. Let's just one cut the entire video from here on. What do you reckon? Just one big scene. Uh. So I probably should have bought these rubber seals as well for the top caps, the gaskets. Ooh. So maybe but you should explain to the viewer what you're doing here. Okay, well, the, the damper rod in this is connected to the top cap. And the heel bone's connected in, in to there. the? Heel bone's connected to the, <laughs> the, the thigh bone. No, no. Right. Depends where you're from. <laughs> so um, there is a special tool that you put in here. You kind of clamp it in, and then you pull this down because no that's the way. spring spacer. And then the nut that holds the um, the top cap on is about there somewhere. So I don't have that tool. Damn. So my A team thing that I was just talking about. I'm going to draw up. I'm going to go into my room in a minute. And draw up a little. A little plan, a little schem can, schematics. Can you draw? Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Like animals and stuff. Yeah, you surprise me all the time. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, we'll we'll go to the home center and go and buy some some bits. Yep. Anyway, let's go on with the drain. All right, the here we go. Here we go. Drum roll. <laughs> What are you doing, man? All right, so you know my A-team idea. This is what I've come up with. Oh. You see that? Wow, you can draw. You'd be good at Pictionary. Yeah, man. So I think we're gonna we'll go to run to the Home Depot and get some angle iron and some really long threaded bar and a piece of wood. Yeah. And I think it'll work. Yep. Let's, Let's get, do it. Let's get to the Batmobile. Yeah. <laughs> Big Mac set of twoください Big Mac set Big Mac set of 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 Oh. All right, guys, so I am back from the home center. Unfortunately, my helpers had to bugger off, but this is effectively what I've come up with. So, lift it up so you can see. So, I've got a, a long bar at the bottom that's just basically a flat place for the, um, for the fork to sit on. And on the top, I'm kind of worried about doing this, but um, yeah, I hope it doesn't fall out. So on the top, if you can see there, we've got these uh, bolts of going into the uh, spring spacer, which is this white plastic bit. Now basically what we've got to do is, we've got to compress the spring so that we can lift this up and unbolt it from the damper rod. Um, so inside here somewhere, around maybe around there, there is um, a 17 mil nut that connects the top cap to the damper rod. So effectively all we're doing is compressing the spring down so that we can get access to that bolt, um, that nut even, put a spanner on it and then quickly um, get the top cap off. 
Then we can disassemble the outer body from the inner tube, the, or the stanchions, whatever you want to call it. So basically we've got to get on with it, but it's a bit of a dodgy tool that I've created. I thought it was going to be absolutely perfect, but now I'm a bit worried because these, um, the holes in this, this angle line that I bought, they're slotted. So this, this whole bit can effectively move maybe this much and so I'm worried that when I try and compress it, it's not gonna be um, even. But um, yeah, it's a bit scary, but let's just get on with it, okay? All right guys, so this is effectively what it looked like um, before it was disassembled. So we disconnected the top cap from the damper rod. Just put that down there. All right, so there's a washer on the top. And then you got your spacer, which has a washer on it as well, which is um, a spring spacer effectively. All right, so let's get the spring out. There's the spring, so let's put it in its correct orientation which is uh, wider on the bottom than it is on the top so it's not like we can uh, oh okay fall over why don't you so it's not like we can mistake that so now the forks will just come apart just like that just like that all right so all good so there's gonna be a bit of oil leaking but not oh quite a lot of oil actually quite a lot of oil so no biggie but let's just put them down there so basically we're doing all of this work literally just to replace the fork seal so it's a bit sunny here isn't it sorry about that so the seal in there that's the fork seal and that's the dust boot so basically we can uh, get rid of this now oily um, now there are proper tools for this, which I don't have, so I'm kind of, kind of be a kind of a dick and just use a screwdriver. So if you're going to do this, make sure you don't scratch anything inside. Okay, dropping wood all over the floor. So once you've got the outer boot off, the dust boot, dust shield, whatever you want to call it, you then have to get this little circlip or spring. Um, fork seal retainer whatever you want to call it so again we'll just be gentle with a screwdriver lift it out okay that's out so once you've got one side up the rest will come out easily now the fork seal itself I really should be using the proper tool I don't recommend this but so we don't want to scratch this surface and we don't want to bend it or put a dink in it with a, a metal tool so I'm just going to use my thumb and I'm going to sort of pry it out but it should it should come out easily I was about to say and it did so once you've got that out there is an, also a washer in there which has a um, it should face away so you can see it might be hard to see but there is kind of like a bevel on it so that goes that way up right so now all we got to do is clean everything get all the oil out and clean everything and then um, the actual inside the damper rod as well we can pull pull the adjuster out so let's try and get that out so this this rod that's basically connected to the um, the adjuster on your top cap to adjust the compression, and then basically after that, what we're going to have to do is do a bit more draining. So I'm going to put it fucking I'm making it destroying the place. So I'm going to put it in the bucket and just give it a few pumpy pumps, and then get all the oil out. So I'm going to hang it up and let all the oil completely drain out so there's nothing left in the system and then give everything a good old clean. As the daily battle between I 
Isis and Osiris commenced. Slowly but surely, night fell on Japan and I could no longer see what I was doing. So instead, I joined the Bolt Bucket and Roland Keith livestream and proceeded to get drunk. Tune in next time for part two. <laughs>